him now too. Yeah. You gotta learn to get out of it. Hey, what up, guys? It's Andre BGK from Big Gemini Kennels. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you're probably wondering how this pit bull and coyote came to be in this situation. Well, let me tell you. The coyote, for whatever rabbit reason, decided to try to attack this pit bull's owner, you know, and the pit bull said, hell no. So here we go. The pit bull and the coyote are at it. Let's go. Get him, Get him, Get him boy. How they look? Huh? He's got my arm. Well, oh, he better re grab. Come on. Better re grab. Get him, Judah. Get him. I told you I was going to have your ass in it, boy. One thing I noticed about this pit bull is although it has the heart and the drive, it really doesn't know how to attack. That's why it's grabbing onto the coyote's leg. That's why it's biting and holding. It's doing the right thing by biting, holding, and shaking and damaging the coyote. But a more seasoned dog would have went for that coyote's throat, locked on his throat, and this situation would have been done a lot quicker. Hey, bro. I don't know if you guys just heard that crunch, but that crunch was the coyote's leg snapping in half under the pressure of the pit bull's teeth. If you didn't hear it, let me run it back. That coyote is permanently damaged. It's done. That's why the coyote began screaming in pain like that. He broke his arm. Uh, take this one. Look, I brought this so we could drag him out. If you're wondering how this ended, the owner had to end up stepping in and helping out the pit bull to finish off the coyote. However, the pit bull did an amazing job, and that is what would normally happen when a coyote comes at a pit bull. A pit bull is a larger, stronger breed. Coyotes depend on numbers. They need a bunch of help, right? And pit bulls are standalone soldiers, all right? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm out.